Hi, this video is to show I can restore an inventory cycle count feature, which also lets you relocate product really quickly. So you'll notice I click on the cycle count uh, tab, and I can scan an item. Actually, I've got to position the cursor down here. So use the arrow. You can see if I scan the item, it'll show up there. If I wanted to update the location for that item while I'm doing this, and what this is really good is if the Where this is really good is, uh, you know, if you scan a bunch of items, you want to put them into one location, you can simply put in that location. Uh, and when I click update, it's going to clear those items off so that you can then start scanning your next batch of items. So I'll scan another batch. And it looks like I've already scanned that one, so I see the pre-existing location on it. But if I change these to location FFF and update, then it will clear the items. And then I can start on my next batch of items. And if I were to scan those same items, you can see that they're now FFF. Note also that the um, that this is also creating an audit trail. So if I go to these particular items, you know, I'll go to inventory and look on the right-hand side here you're going to see that there's an audit date here at the exact time. And then you'll also notice that, of course, the update down here in the comments. Or with the IQ Reseller Action Table, if I right-click on the item, it'll show who's done what, when, as well. So in this case, you can see that the item was cycle counted and the before action had no location after action had this location. So it's a really great feature for um, year-end audits or uh, auditing any time of year, just to uh, you know, sort on the high value items first. Uh, or you could go to location first or the high value items and the location and then just start cycle counting items in there and we're going to update with that, with that audit trail.